start, um, if I may, with um, some of our own studies that we've done. Um, that is you know, in part some years ago, but I think it was an entry point in, into the understanding of, of atopic dermatitis as we see it today. Um, so we had a, a model system where this Th2 prone inflammation was elicited in mouse skin in this case. And we exposed these mice to um, innate immune signals that come from Staphylococcus aureus and, and other bacteria that are present in, in high loads in this dysbiotic situation in atopic dermatitis. And we transformed a two-day lasting inflammation that normally terminates itself, resolution is the normal thing that happens, into a two-week lasting inflammation just by these innate immune stimuli that come from these dysbiotic microbiota on the skin. And I think this makes it clear that, that this is a very, very potent uh, amplifier of skin inflammation, the dysbiosis. And if we take out the type two immune uh, signaling, for example, block IL-4, this does not happen. So actually it's both the innate signals that come in together with the adaptive immune system, with the type 2 cytokines. And these together block tolerance, these together amplify inflammation. And with this type of understanding, we, we today understand that both is important. This is why the new treatments where we directly target interleukin-4, interleukin-13 and so on, um, are very important and, and taught us also how, how the disease works. And at this point, we also understand that these innate immune signals that come from the outside into uh, the skin play an amplifying role. And when we look at these two sides, uh, we understand that manipulating the innate signals may be another approach that in certain situations is, is more important than we originally thought. And this is you know, what I like about the, the, the picture at the moment, that we have pharma companies that have projects to target this disease and they're on the right track and we will see you know, what treatment will, will be the best for which kind of patient. And at the same time, we, we, we take this other path and say, we understand that there is a disease amplifying innate immune system and that we can play with it and that we, we can make it change towards signals of a different quality that will help to stabilize. To, to have anti-inflammatory pathways being up and not being down regulated. And so this is where I think you know, all things um, run together.